By the year 2030, two-thirds of the world's population will live in cities. And already today in the United States, it's over 80%. In 1990, there were 11 megacities of the world, cities with population over 10 million. Today, there are 23 such cities, and that number is increasing. The public health professional of tomorrow must understand the unique issues of cities and be prepared to address them. One of the things that makes urban health both unique and exciting is that it really requires a multidisciplinary approach. And here in PFRH, we are the base for a school and university-wide collaboration. Our faculty come from sociology and medicine, maternal and child health and epidemiology, business and education. Our faculty include Carlos Castillo, with a primary appointment in epidemiology, whose work is in the development of an urban health observatory for Baltimore. Phil Leaf in the Department of Mental Health, whose work is on juvenile violence. Kathy Eden, the inaugural Bloomberg Distinguished Professor, whose work focuses on low-income urban families and housing policy. Lindsay Thompson, whose primary appointment is in the Cary Business School, has a joint appointment with us. Her work addresses the interface between health and wealth. And Chris Gibbons' work focuses on eliminating cancer disparities. But a vibrant urban health program cannot reside in the ivory tower. And here in PFRH, we are fortunate to be the home of the university's Urban Health Institute, with its rich network of community ties that include links with the mayor's office, the Baltimore City Health Department, the school system, the Baltimore City Police Department, many of the local black churches and numerous community-based organizations. Our community partners are part of our educational structure as well. Some of our activities include an annual Social Determinants of Health Symposium, a Baltimore Dialogue series on race, power, and privilege, an assets mapping initiative to identify the human capital and physical locations that community residents see as resources. This partnership means that we do not see Baltimore as a laboratory for our students. Rather, Together with our community partners, we see student education as part of what is needed for growing a healthy city. We are proud of what we have accomplished and where we are headed. We have a long way to go. We would welcome you on that journey. And we would also welcome any comments, thoughts, suggestions, or questions that you may have.